Welcome back to our CNC beginner series. If you're just joining us, we've already tackled how to create designs and add flair to your projects. But today, today, it's all about the unsung heroes of every CNC project, your bits. In this third episode, we're putting five contenders to the test in a showdown designed to help you understand their strengths, weaknesses, and best use cases. And by the end, you'll know exactly which bit to reach for when your next project begins. Welcome to the CNC Bit Showdown. Five contenders, five unique styles, but only one question. Which bit will rise to the top? Today, we're putting these CNC All-Stars to the test to find out just how they stack up and who, if anyone, comes out ahead. Will the trusty stock bit prove it's more than a rookie? Can the bold 90-degree V-bit carve its way to victory? Or will one of the specialized challengers steal the spotlight? There's only one way to find out. Let's get started. Let's meet today's challengers in the CNC Bit Showdown. First up, the rookie. It's the stock bit. An eighth inch 30 degree conical bit. Is it conical? Conical. Conical? It's not fancy, but it's reliable, making it the starter piece for many first time projects. Will simplicity carry it to victory? Next, the Groover. The 90 degree V-bit designed for sharp angles and bold grooves. It's got a knack for creating standout designs. Third, we have the Smoother, the eighth inch two flute bit. This one is all about precision and clean finishes. It's small but mighty. And here comes the Surface King, the quarter inch down cut bit. If clean topside edges are your priority, this champion's got your back. And finally, the underdog, the quarter inch upcut bit. It might not grab the spotlight often, but it's here to show how a smooth exit can make all the difference. Before we unleash our contenders, let's go over the game plan. For this showdown, we're carving a design carefully chosen to highlight each bit's strengths and reveal their quirks. Please know that using a decent material like hardwoods instead of pine We'll have much better results for all of these bits, but with this experiment, pine is fine. These blocky letters will showcase how the bits handle corners and shine in applications like sign making or engraving text. This solid block will test pocket carving efficiency and precision. Let's see which bit clears the field like a pro. And this simple line, that's our wild card. I don't know why I added it, but maybe it will uncover unexpected quirks. Sometimes the smallest detail tells the biggest story. We're running two tests side by side. On the left, the bits will carve as if set to easel's default 8th inch bit settings, perfect for easel free users. On the right, they'll carve as if set to a 90 degree V bit, revealing how these tools adapt when treated as precision engravers. The stage is set and the showdown begins now! Each bit is carving the same design optimized for its unique characteristics. Watch closely as the grid fills with results and take note of the timer. We're not just carving for speed, we're carving for precision. As each bit approaches this design differently, our competitors will tackle sharp letters, smooth pockets, and intricate lines. But don't blink, you might miss how the upcut shines on clean bottoms or how the V-bit nails sharp corners. From versatile beginners to specialists in their field, each bit has something unique to offer. Let's see how they performed across our categories. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the scores are in. Who carved their way to glory? Who got stuck in the sawdust? Which bit will be the best for all occasions? Let's dive in. Our plucky rookie gave it their all, but this bit is like your first car. Good enough to get you started, but not winning any drag races. It struggled with precision, left fuzz everywhere, and clocked the slowest carving time. Still, for an extremely budget-friendly start, it's not bad. The Groover made crisp, clean lines like a champ, carving text and lines so sharp they could double as knives, but smooth surfaces and inside curves, not its thing. As for time, this one's quick. The Smoother lived up to its name, leaving edges so clean you could probably skip standing. 
It carved slower than the Groover, but hey, some things are worth the wait. However, its rounded corners were, well, not rounded. It was a clean 90 degrees. The Surface King flexed its royalty with a flawless top finish. No splinters here. Great for color fills, but don't expect it to rule the detailed line or corner kingdoms. It's also one of the quicker bits, proving you can be fast and fabulous, at least on the surface. And don't sleep on the underdog. It nailed the bottom finish and handled sharp corners like a pro. Sure, the top surface was a bit rough, but this bit works hard from the bottom up. Time-wise, it's a speedster, proving that underdogs can pack a punch. So who's the winner? It depends. Need flawless tops? The Surface King. Sharp text and logos? The Groover. Precision and smoothness? The Smoother's your bit. And for a perfect bottom finish, the underdog's got your back. And there you have it. Each bit excels in its own way. But what if you don't want to invest in all of them right away? Let's talk strategy. First, budget bits. They're like your first pair of running shoes. Cheap, functional, and perfect for learning. These go for $10 to $20 and honestly, they'll handle most beginner projects without a hitch. Ready to level up? Premium bits in the $30 to $80 range can elevate your game. They're designed to last longer, carve faster, and give you cleaner results. Think of them as the MVPs of your workshop. My advice? Start with a budget-friendly starter pack. Practice, then upgrade as you go. Trust me, you don't need the fanciest bits to create amazing projects. You just need the right ones. We've seen how each bit brings its own personality to the table. Some for crisp detail, others for smooth surfaces, and a few that surprise us with unexpected versatility. If there's one takeaway here, it's this. The right bit makes all the difference. Experimentation is your best teacher, and there's no better way to grow your skills. Now, as we carve into the holiday season, we're taking a short break to recharge. Our next video will show you how to make accessories that can save time, improve results, and make your CNC projects even more enjoyable. From clamps to bid organizers, these are upgrades you can create with your own machine. If you're as excited about the next chapter as I am, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Until next time, stay creative, stay curious, and keep carving out your dreams.